Welcome back you guys, my name is Norma and today we're going to be looking over a few different movies to unveil Vegas movie scenes. Basically all that means is that I'm going to be showing you a few different movie scenes that have uh, false scenes. Um, I just want you to show up to Las Vegas, um, you know, think, expecting something that you saw in a movie that doesn't even exist or that you are technically not even allowed to do. And today I'm going to be having my friend and co-host Warren. What's up everybody? He's going to be coming along with us, um, you know, debunking these movie scenes. So let's get started. Oh, a cocktail server with not one, but two ready to go for you. She knew you were going to chug it. That's obvious. She knew, like, oh, let's ready to put her in. He's here. He's here. Oh, I'm grateful that they didn't have a line at all. That's authentic. Okay. Yeah, no one gives a personal tour. No one's giving personal tours up to rooms, just to let you know. And if they are, then they're taking somebody else and one of those really high-pitched whistles that are really annoying, in case you're kind of creepy. What? What's Loretta doing there? Okay. I didn't know you were here. Is that what you just then said? how did you get their room number? Yeah. How did you get a room key? How are you creeping up on them? That's not real. So she's obviously not wanted in this room. Judging from his so, facial expression, uh, sure. Nobody is supposed to... No no one can give her a, the room number. Right. You have to have your name on the reservation in order for us to give any information out. Your exact name. Last name don't matter, huh? No, it doesn't matter if like, oh, this is my son, here's my ID, look, we have the same last name. No. no I'm I don't care. No. Oh, and she'll just excuse herself. Oh yeah, I am an adjoining suite. How did you know that? How I thought we didn't know that. How did you happen to know what their room number was again? Because they're not going to give her that room number. And then secondly, she can't, if she was coming from the adjoining suite, she can't just open the door and right. then walk into their suite. Right, it takes the consent of both people having a door of their own to open up in order for people to travel back and forth. So no suites are going to connect so seamlessly. And that second door would have been locked. Right. Well, presumably, if you don't want Loretta showing up. I love how she let herself back in. Hi, Loretta! There she is again. <laughs> Just be safe that if you, if your mother-in-law happens to be in the same vacation as you, same hotel, she's not going to be walking into your room like that. Keep her name off your reservation. Yes. Right now, it just looks like she booked them all and then checked in all of them herself and just made it look like she's the mastermind. And, you know, mother-in-laws will do that sometimes, I suppose. Thank Creepy. <laughs> this lady knows everything. There, he called it out the... Yes, thank like, you for calling out the you, key. Why did you get a key? Yeah, how does that work? Ooh, everybody's all dapper. Okay. So obviously this chick, you know, she's dressed up, she has heels on, the girls in the back have heels on. Um, you should know to not walk on the strip yeah. with heels on because no. just from one hotel to the next, you're tired by the time you get to that hotel. Your feet are going to be killing you, ladies. You'll be ripping them off and carrying them over your shoulder, wondering why you even brought them in the first place. Yes, and please don't take them off. Don't walk barefoot because either you're going to get thrown out or security is going to tell you to put them back on and yeah. you're going to hate it. Tetanus shots are going to be required at the end of the walk because of all the different things that you can cut your foot on on the nasty street. Okay, so right now we're standing in the exact same spot where all the guys uh, met up with the lady that had, you know, the, the nice dress, the heels. But all I want to say is, ladies, please don't wear heels on the strip. Uh, wear your, you know, your chucks, wear your flip flops, your boots, your flats, anything but heels. Just because from one casino to the next, it's it's a really long walk, and you're gonna be all sweaty, you're gonna be all tired, you're not gonna last the night with heels on. I am wearing my chucks right now, and I'm perfectly happy. So please. I know you want to look cute, but don't wear your heels. Wear your flats, even that looks good with dresses. If you're going to wear heels, I mean, just be in the hotel, you're really safe. So the ball's already rolling. There can be no changes. It looks like, yep, yeah, that's a lot of cash. Okay, so that <clears throat> is not your money. No. He put it down, so why is he moving it? No, and, yeah. Um, the dealer would have said something right away. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The dealer's all over this. You shouldn't be touching your friend's chips. You can't. It's not just poor etiquette. It's against the rules of gambling in order to do that. 
there already would have been someone in a suit yes. coming up and be like, sir, you can't do that. Yeah, absolutely. The dealer has done this before. He would have security over here that'd be a pit boss. And now we've got a fight. Okay. The Goodbye. whole group is gone. Yeah, you're all done. Nobody's gambling anymore. I doubt they would even let you get your chips back. So no pool in Vegas is open after dark. Yeah, no. And just to get into the pool, you need a room key and to either show it to security or swipe it in something. That's right. And you can't just walk in like that. And security would be around to tell you that. At all moments. Yeah, but not just that. Like A lot of people do think that, oh, it's night, let's go to the pool. Not in Vegas. I wish. They want you to spend money. That's so right. Just don't expect to have a late night swim. A lot of people do a lot of dumb stuff when alcohol and water are mixed. Okay, so starting with this very first scene, mm -hmm. so wrong. No cab is allowed to just leave you there in the middle of the street and will take out your bag. You can't. They have to drop you off at ballet. Gotta take you to the Porta Cachere. Every hotel has one. That just doesn't happen. You can't just get out in the middle of the street. You get yelled at. So now in this scene, um, Cameron Diaz and her friend get dropped off uh, in front of the Planet Hollywood, you know, just to go straight up into their hotel to supposedly go to check in. However, though, this is not a pickup drop off zone. There are um, pylons or blockades right here um, where the, it's physically impossible for any taxi cab or any car to just drop you off here. And not just that, it's actually illegal for a taxi cab, Uber, anything to just drop you off right here on the middle of the strip. So now they're about to go complain, but it's just her who does the complaining. <laughs> yes, they got double occupied, systems went down, they got put in the same room. So now she's like, I, I need a new room. And he's like, I don't need to know your identification. Yeah, where's your ID? There's two reservations here. Why isn't the second guy? Why isn't Ashton Kutcher going up too? Right. I mean, they can't just give out stuff like that. That's a ton of stuff. And if it's off property, they probably don't have that kind of leverage, folks. Okay, so now they're going to Le Cirque, supposedly right here. Mm -hmm. Which is restaurant at the Bellagio. It's right, right across the street. Why do you need a limousine? It's pretty catty. Yeah, but here's the best part, right? They just get dropped off in front of the fountains. Again, you're not allowed to just drop off people in the middle of the street. Okay, so this scene particularly I don't like just because, again, the limo drops them off in the middle of the Las Vegas Boulevard um, because they're gonna go to Le Cirque, but guys, Le Cirque is all the way back there. They could have stayed in the limousine and they could have gone all the way around being dropped off at the valet. Would have cut their time in half and they wouldn't have to be walking on their heels. Come on, people, think. Okay, it's the Bellagio Fountains in the background, right? Mm -hmm. Those are loud. They're, They're so really loud. They're loud. It's like jets blowing up water plus the music. So however far they are, you would, you'd would have to yell at each other. Cause He'd have to be alive. Hey, do you want a drink? Hey, Norma, you want to get a drink? What? One drink. Can you hear me? I can't, what? Norma, one drink. I'll see you later, okay? Bye. One drink. Okay. No one is gonna give some lady a knife to open up your own bottle like that. No, yeah, that's they're doing it for you. And they're not gonna let you just do that right there. Hmm, that's a lot of glasses you're gonna break because you're clumsy after a quarter of the alcohol they've had. Okay, so now the whole club's not gonna shut up just so one chick can do her toast. Her drunken toast. Like they're not gonna lower the volume of the music and now everyone's gonna turn around and pay attention to you now. No. Near no, yeah. it's very hard to be the center of attention in Las Vegas for any reason. Put your shirt back on. Ew, I didn't need to see that. Touch okay, broccoli. you're not allowed to be on the bar. No, girl, no get down. Bar, no bar, no club. Ow. Okay, and you would have been escorted out right there. Yeah, you're done. This is a good time to discuss that the entire concept of a random wedding in Las Vegas is a lot harder. Yes, so. You can't just get drunk and get married. Like you have to get to the courthouse, um, file for your wedding certificate. Your marriage license. Yeah, your marriage license. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's open till midnight, but still, they're not gonna just give you a wedding license if you're intoxicated. Right. 
and I don't think any of us who would be dramatically intoxicated would feel up for all the steps you'd have to take to eventually end up getting married. Yeah, going to going to get your marriage license is not fun. No. You're you're there for a while sometimes. Yeah. You'd think she'd pick up on the complicated vibes in this group and not really want to spend time with them, but no. Nope. She's in the taxi. Yeah, she's she's just so willing to like get up and go with these four dudes to on the taxi to the I guess the Aria. Yeah. Like an overcrowded taxi. <laughs> okay. Alright, now this part I don't get. They're so desperate to get to a hotel, but they get out in the middle of the street to the Mirage and they're walking the wrong way. They are. Right? Okay, so this is the scene right here where all the guys are walking towards the Aria, but they're actually walking this way. The Aria is back that way, and just to let you know, the Aria, that way is actually one mile. So I, if it was me, I would have you know, advised the guys to stay instead of a taxi cab because not only did they have a luggage with them, they had that lady that they picked up from downtown. So that, that wasn't a smart idea. And then if we look this way, the Cosmopolitan is right there. Uh, the Aria is going to be actually right behind the Cosmopolitan Hotel. Again, that looks nearby, but it's not. Again, that's also about one mile away. Just every, it's just a really big building. That's about it. By the way, this is not a real suite at the Aria. With like two ponds in the middle of the room. Whew. Like, I, I, there's no reason. No. I want to stay in here really bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Hayes nightclub was the nightclub at the time. Right? Yes. It's now Jewel. Um, that's not a real area of Jewel. Like that's not where you actually wait. I mean, the line is definitely there. Don't get us wrong. It's just different. Okay. Um, that's not the actual nightclub. No, this looks a lot like Studio Fifty Four to me in uh, a weird way. Oh, I don't know. Never Studio Fifty Four. Giant disco ball is all really. But, yeah, this isn't the actual nightclub, they just recreated this. I suppose. This part rubs me the wrong way because I've never seen cocktail waitresses let themselves onto somebody's lap. Not at a club at least. Not at that kind of club. Okay. There are some clubs in Las Vegas you can get that service. <laughs> but they're a different kind of atmosphere. Okay, so they're in the middle of Fremont Street. Having a nice casual conversation, enjoying their, their coffee, which you can get on Fremont, of course. But let's just, hey, there's a bench, let's just sit there. Let's just have a seat in the middle of Fremont Street, friend. There's no benches anywhere in the Fremont Street. No, no. Okay, now the Aria does have some pretty sweet sweets. Some sweet sweets. I like the but way you said that. There's no rotating bed no. anywhere in the Aria. At least there shouldn't be. That That's technology we haven't seen since the 70s. You said maybe in the Palms? Maybe. I'm thinking the Playboy Mansion probably, or the Playboy Room probably had something like that. You can just put yeah. a flyer in front of a dealer. She's working. Yeah, oh, thanks so much. Yeah, I'll consider coming to your party, even though it's against the rules of what I do for a living. And then of course we I get it, it's a movie, they're just trying to make it pretty, but yeah. the, the Cirque du Soleil cast isn't just out of the out of the floor. No, pre-shows happen with Cirque du Soleil shows and they're usually pretty good, but they happen in the theater. Just so you know, lifeguards at hotels are usually 20 and under. Yeah. The majority of the time, so we're talking entry don't, level jobs. Don't hit on the no. don't hit on the lifeguards. But by the way, there's no there's also no benches in front of the Mirage volcano either. Oh that's true. So just don't expect it. No. I thought there would be benches here, Norma. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please let me know if there's any other movie that you want me to feature on this channel. Um, and again, for this episode. I, this wasn't to knock any of these movies uh, that we mentioned. I love these movies. This is just for you guys. I just don't want you to show up, you know, thinking that, you know, you can slide across the bar in a club or, you know, get dropped off in the middle of an intersection. It's just, I want you guys to show up to Vegas with real expectations, basically. And remember, everything in Vegas is twice as far as it appears. Yeah, so don't wear heels, wear your regular shoes, please. But thank you so much for watching. Until next time. I had no idea you work for Absinthe. I'm a really good juggler. <laughs>